Johnny and Dolly. The team is supported by ableauctions.ca. Closing your business? We can help. All of our guests today, including Gary Volk, brought to you by Optic Fullier. Spray it, see it, believe it. That's Optic Foliar. Visit this made in BC company online at opticfoliar.ca. Do you have anything? You're, you're texting away there. Oh, uh, on no. The <clears throat> Hold on a second. Uh, no, it just, uh, it's all quiet. It's, qui it, it, it's quieted down. There were some issues at practice today. They had oh. trouble with the drill. We know yeah. that. And Pedersen was on a line with, yeah. uh, with Dowling and put goals in. And they play tomorrow in Columbus. Uh, we know that. Okay, Gary Volk making some waves. Ex Canuck Gary Volk making some waves uh, yesterday on Twitter. We got his tweet from yesterday, right? The Canucks, in my opinion, have a team that have a bunch of individuals who have never had to work for anything their whole life. Gary said that about the crew at Sportsnet when I worked with yeah. him as well. <laughs> now that adversity is hit, they are dazed and confused. And ex Canuck Gary Volk uh, joins us now. How are you, sir? I am great. You know, I'm, I'm sitting outside of a, a house I have that I'm going to lift right away. It pours <laughs> in rain. Of course, I, I pick a day for pitchers when it's not very nice out, so I'm going to have to redo those next week. But I'm good. Family's good. My daughter's flying back from California today to visit for American Thanksgiving. Everything is all good, you know. I mean, I uh, I I... You know, with the three kids, one was a tennis player, one is still a hockey player, and one's a golfer. So I'm kind of all over the place, but I'm enjoying life for sure. Hey, it sounds like you're avoiding talking about the Canucks. What made you come up with that? <laughs> what, 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 well, made you, what made you come up with that strong tweet well, last night? You know what? It, 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 to me, look, I don't mean that. I mean, obviously, players have to work hard to make the NHL. Um, that's how they're playing right now. It's like... We've all dealt with adversity. I've played 13 years. It's how you deal with the adversity with what will make you through it or make you have a long NHL career. To me, there's too many players on that team that don't know their identity. They're not working towards the team and the team success. They're working individually. I see a lot of pouting faces. The pouting faces are a lot of their top six right now. Who Hockey has come easy to a lot of those guys. It just has. They've been so good their whole lives. Mm -hmm. They win. They're they're still one or two years in the league, three years in the league. Power plays struggling. They're not scoring goals. The media's turning on them. I guarantee it. For half those guys, it's the first time in their lives they've ever read bad press. I would never tell a young player to read the papers or press or be on Twitter, anyways. But at the end of the day, they they don't know how to react to it it's travis green's fault to bring the young guys in and make them realize look guys the only thing i can control is your ice time um i can't control your eight-year deal or your six-year 50 million dollar deals but i can control your ice time and we need to start playing like a team i mean to me i look at this team guys and i watch it and i'm like look they're small and they can't score uh, like they are so soft up front. Other than JT Miller, who plays in the top six, they're and Horvat, one hundred percent. But they're missing guys like Sutter, Verten, and everybody ripped on him. But he was a beast to play against. You you didn't want to go in the corners with him. So right now it's great. You can have a small team winning the NHL, one hundred percent. Hard to do in the playoffs for sure, but you're not scoring goals. So this team's in big trouble here for a little while. Do you expect major changes, Gary? I do. I, look, I, I, you hear the rumors of JT Miller, 100%. If he's a cancer in the room, they got to get rid of him. I don't know. I haven't been around the room in a long time. I don't have any inside scoops on that. But if he is a cancer, you got to get rid of him. If he's not, to me, he's been their best player. Like, mm -hmm. he probably could have won their MVP last year because he's strong. He, he gets to the dirty areas. He's got a ridiculous hockey IQ. He competes. He stays healthy. And so, for to me, he, he's – I mean, if I'm playing against the Vancouver Canucks, he's one guy that would be very hard for me to shut down. Um, and he would be their MVP. So, if he's a cancer, you got to get rid of him, 100%. If he's not, 
uh, then you can build around him. But he's still young. He's a great player. What are the major moves they can make, guys, in the salary cap era, right? I mean, I, coach, I like Coach a GM. Well, sure. <laughs> yeah, I mean, look, to me, to me, how the team is built, it's bad luck that Sutter still can't play. It's bad luck that Verten and did what he did and you had to get rid of him. But you haven't replaced those guys. Mm-hmm. You haven't replaced their size and their speed. And I would rather have a bigger team that can skate and have skill like the Colorado Avalanche, then I would rather have right now uh, than what the Vancouver Canucks have. But, mm-hmm. I mean, I, I look at a kid like Quinn Hughes, looks lost out there. I mean, I've seen sophomore slumps before. I mean, I have. I, I, I've seen it. I mean, the kid gets his contract. He's got the he, – look at his face on the bench. He's got the weight of the world on his shoulders. Uh, when I see him play against the other team stud defenseman like Kale McCarr, He's one of the worst players on the ice. Or when he played against Adam Fox uh, with the Rangers, he it's like he puts so much pressure on himself to outplay those guys because he almost makes as much money as them. And he he's struggling right now and gripping the stick. And um, he's just got to play relaxed. And Gary, they're not doing that right now. Gary, if you think Hughes is struggling, what are your thoughts on Pedersen? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's the problem at times is, is, yeah, I mean, it's unbelievable. I would have never guessed that I think the kid is so skilled. He's a great kid. But, yeah, I mean, it's confusing. And I really hope on the road they have their team meal, they have their team dinner. This road trip could not come at a better time just to get away from here. I, I know when I was in slumps before, even in playing Vancouver or Anaheim, you wanted to go on the road. He just wanted to get away from the home media and, and have a few pops without somebody taking a picture of you and sending it to the local Twitter account and just get out and have fun and relax. This team looks so uptight right now. We can all blame Travis Green. Look, sure, you, it's an easy move. What does Travis Green make? Do we know? I, I've made it uh, two point, Is two, he a million? Two, two 2.7. Is he at 2.7? Okay. Yeah, so he's making good money. I, I was shocked he's making actually that much. I thought he'd be around <laughs> too. But, I mean, at the end of the day, look look at their power play salary cap hit. What is that this year? $40 million? Yeah. So he's at two seven. Is it systems? Is it – I mean, their goaltending has been good. They haven't been able to score goals. So, to me, it's personnel. But I don't know, right? I'm not in the room. But what are the major moves you can make? Benning's had a few years here now. I, I saw Mike Gillis get let go for a lot less than what Jim Benning has done, that's for sure. Yeah. So, you know, I, that would be a move you probably would have to make. But it's it's hard to watch. But I know the players getting on the road would be a great thing for them. Um, we, yeah, it we, didn't show yeah. up in the first game. Yeah. But they played well against Chicago, 100%. At there, home, there, they there, didn't score a goal. There's one game. Well. There's one game. One game. Hey, Volk, you were up against it. Uh, hey. Thanks so much. Short notice. Thanks Body. so much for this. Yes. Have a good one, man. You, you take bet. care. See you around the ring.